Welcome back to my vlog. This is part six of family road trip to Hokkaido in northern Japan. I put the links in the description below if you have not seen any episodes of this road trip. This episode is all about Arashiyama Zoo, Arashiyama Dobutsen. It is a very popular zoological garden just outside of central Asahikawa city in the middle of Hokkaido. Currently, we are walking through an underwater glass tunnel which lets visitors observe the seabird as they fly through the water. This zoo's popularity lies in the enclosures which allow visitors to observe the animals from various angles, many of which are unique to Asahiyama Zoo. The highlights include a glass tunnel through the penguin pool, which you just saw, and a small glass dome in the middle of a polar bear, and wolf enclosures that can give visitors right among the animals. The zoo was also one of the first to organize penguin walks in winter. Unfortunately, this was summertime, so we could not see that one. Work on the new enclosures and improvements to existing ones is constantly ongoing. This was probably one of my favorites from today. A glass pipe called Marine Way lets visitors inspect passing seals from all sides. Trust me, you're gonna see it, so just keep watching. Animals on display include native wildlife from Hokkaido, including deer, eagles, cranes, and now extinct wolves, as well as various animals from across the world, such as polar bears, apes, big cats, and giraffes. If possible, try to visit the zoo outside of the weekend holidays to reduce the crowds. Primarily specializing in cold climate species, there are more than 700 animals from 124 species housed in environments that are close to their natural habits. Since 1997, the zoo has undertaken the construction of a unique interactive animal viewing facilities. After Totori no Mura, the bird's village, which enables visitors to see birds flying freely in a huge cage, the zoo continued to install new facilities, including polar bear aquatic park, a walkthrough penguin aquarium, orangutan trapezi, and a sea aquarium which includes a vertical tube through which the seals can swim. At the polar bear section, a glass dome called the seal's eye puts visitors into the position of the bear's favorite meal, but unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, we weren't able to um, experience that this time. In August 2004, the monthly number of visitors exceeded 320,000, which surpassed Ueno Zoo in Tokyo. In 2006, the annual number of visitors reached 2 million, and the following year, the number was 3 million, which was surpassed only by the Ueno Zoo, about 3.5 million people in the same year. Over the years, the Arashiyama Zoo has drawn a number of media attractions, and some TV programs and publications featuring the zoo's success has also been created. The zoo is planned for efficiency to maximize the number of enclosures you can visit. Abundant windows and bubble domes provide opportunity to see animals at eye level. The zoo was the first facility in Japan to succeed in the natural breeding of cold region animals such as polar bears, Amir leopards, and scoffs owls. This unique cage construction lets visitors observe the big cats, leopards from the rather unusual angles. We couldn't see anything but at Wolf's Museum, another glass dome puts visitors at the eye level with wolves. Best visiting time is the animal's meal time. A special advantage of a natural behavior exhibition is the opportunity to observe the animal eating their regular meals. Every morning, the zoo announces the meal schedule of the day for each animal, an hour called mogu mogu, yum yum time in Japanese. 
Using the schedule sheets as a guide, you can choose a meal time to visit such popular animals as penguins, polar bears, as well as owls, wolves, and Ezojika, Hokkaido deer, and other less common animals. Meal timing for each animal is carefully staggered to give observation opportunities to see as many visitors as possible. The uniqueness of the zoo isn't just about how you can observe the animals. Each information that's displayed or handwritten, most of the signs are carved in woods. You can tell they put a lot of heart into everything you can see. If you visit the zoo in winter, you can also enjoy Arashiyama Zoo by Snowlight, which is an annual event held in early February to coincide with Asahikawa Winter Festival, which is a popular event on winter nights. During the event, the zoo opens until 8.30 p.m. And ice candles are lit around the zoo to give the zoo a special atmosphere. I think this was another one of my favorites where apes, monkeys, gibbons, and orangutans swing between treetops and a wooden playgrounds. And you can see them from far, so you don't necessarily have to get close to see them. This is the hippo house where you can observe these large semi-aquatic marmals from the side and bottom windows of a 10 feet deep 3 meter pool. We were there at the time of feeding time so we got to see hippo being fed. My mom got to see how big hippo's mouth is so just watch for a few minutes you will see it. Asahiyama Zoo is open daily except New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the second weeks of April and November. If you want to see the Penguin Parade, it usually takes place between December and March. I've seen this zoo so many times on TV, so I'm so glad I was finally able to visit. Just a few days before visiting the zoo, we saw a TV show featuring this cafe stand right outside the zoo, which you're going to see the picture of it at the end of this video. And this cafe has a mega ice cream parfait. It's one liter big. And we wanted to try it, but unfortunately it was closed even though the TV show said they don't have any closing day. But oh well, I guess for next time. Because I want to see the penguin parade, you know? That's it for today's episode, but the family trip continues. We have a one more video coming up, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching, and as always, have a beautiful day.